Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Take On Daily Escado. I received a message from Nadal from Spain asking me to record a video showing some features of the electrical discipline, including the generation of automatic schematics from the board in the model, else the sizing of cable and circuit breaker. Before viewing the video, we are continuously creating content for the YouTube channel. So, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, and don't miss the next one. Enjoy! I have previously defined a board in a model and two circuits for lighting, the circuit number 3 and the circuit number 4. In the circuit list, we see that these circuits for the lighting are already drawn. Now, I will define a new circuit for socket. So, I'll click on New. And here in the subcategory for installation, I will select the socket with protective device, one pole, three leads. We see here the options that we have available, such as the definition of a neutral in earth, and also the number of phases. We can predefine the load and the diversity factor, such as 50%. And then I click Add. From the load that I have predefined, DDSCAD will show a, a list of disjunctors from this ampere. Now I'll click OK to select this one. And I will close. As we can see, we see already that a fuse is already highlighted in red, showing it is underdimensioned. What we can do here to resize this fuse is to select it, right mouse click, and select the option Update Dimensions. Else, we see that for this new circuit, it has been automatically inserted a cable of three cores of 2.5 square millimeters. We could manually resize this cable, but to know about the calculation, we go to the tab Load Data and Calculation. By default, the voltage drop maximum allowed is 3%. It allows us to draw a cable, uh, this cable for 24.2 meters. If I know that this cable should go uh, uh, over this, uh, this length, for instance, 30 meters, I could manually insert this value here and I don't have to draw the cable in a model to calculate it. So in this case, I'm inserting a length over the limit for the voltage loss. If we go to the button Calculation, DDSCAD are, is already calculating the cable for 4 square millimeters instead of the 2.5 square millimeters selected due to the voltage drop. If I click OK and click OK again, DDSCAD automatically uh, resize the cable in a list and it's showing the, in the length column, the values in blue, since it's not drawing the model, but I have manually inserted the length in the, in, the, in the list. Now, to generate schematics, it doesn't matter if we define the board in a schematics view or in a model. We go then to the project manager and we go to electrical schematic. I will select the distribution board function, select the board in which I want to create the schematics, go to the tab sheets, and then I will double click in the sheets I want to create, like the single main diagram and the multi main diagram. Now I just have to click OK and the schematics is automatically drawn in the model. Did you like this video? Do you want to know more about DDS CAD? Put your comment below and we get back to you. Cheers!